Let's dip into the past of the Dallas Cowboys. This, to me, and Shireen, I, you and I haven't really talked about it much more than trade text messages on our broader chain. The Cowboys scandal that popped up on Wednesday that ESPN.com had been studying for weeks, apparently. Don Van Natta Jr. had the byline on the story. Rich Dalrymple, the former PR executive who abruptly retired a few weeks ago, accused by multiple cheerleaders of using his cell phone device, hiding partially behind a wall to videotape them while they were changing clothes. That was stunning to me. The $2.4 million payout reportedly by the Cowboys, the finding by the Cowboys of no wrongdoing. I can't reconcile those two. You don't pay out $2.4 million if there was no wrongdoing. If, if that's the case, hey, Cowboys, give me $2.4 million. If you're giving away free money, let's have some free money. Because if there wasn't something that happened that shouldn't have happened, that's the dumbest $2.4 million they've ever paid, unless it's just hush money where they don't want the controversy at all. They don't want the allegations at all, even if they believe that the allegations aren't true. They just don't want that hovering over their team, which is, is one of the reasons why claims like that have value from the perspective of – finding a lawyer to represent you because some teams, some organizations, some companies will pay that money just to not have to fight the fight publicly, even if they win it. But Shireen, what stunned me was the position by the NFL. And it's, it's like clockwork. Now when there's a topic, the NFL doesn't want to talk about, I send one email. They ignore me. I send two emails. They ignore me. I send three emails. I get something. And what I got yesterday was yeah. from Brian McCarthy, NFL spokesman, we will decline comment as this is a club matter, which makes no sense. I've heard from people connected to the league, people who used to work for teams, people who are part of the broader structure of what covers the league and talks about the league. It makes no sense to just shrug this off as a club matter. The entire Washington commander scandal is a club matter, if you want to look at it that way. Everything that happens within the confines of a team is a club matter. The idea is the league, in certain cases, takes jurisdiction. We just heard the commissioner nine days ago say we can't let Washington investigate itself. No, and you can't let Dallas investigate itself because they may be inclined to cover it up completely. We don't even know whether or not this was reported to the league, either when the claims were made or when the money was paid. The personal conduct policy has some pretty strong language in there contemplating that these things will be reported so the league can take action. And it is a league matter. Rich Dalrymple would have been subject to discipline by the league under the personal conduct policy. Or maybe others. Maybe he wasn't making that video for himself. I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying that that's true. But wouldn't you want to investigate whether or not he was a lone wolf? Or whether or not it was some sort of a prank that others knew about? Or whether somebody asked him to do it? If you don't investigate it, you don't know. And, and I, I'm, I'm astounded by this. But, but this, is, this is the NFL, in my opinion, doing everything they can to keep this from becoming a thing. You legitimize it by investigating it. You turn it into a bigger thing than it otherwise would be by investigating it. And I can't believe they're going to get away with it. But one of the reasons they're going to get away with it is nobody else is saying anything about it. Th th this is it. This platform, Peacock, PFTPM, PFT Live, ProFootballTalk.com, we're the only ones saying how in the hell – is the NFL getting away with not investigating this? Yeah, and I'll say this. I, Rich and I go back a long way. I would consider us to be friends or colleagues or however you want to say it. Um, it was a surprise to me when this <clears throat> came out. I never would have, have thought this happened. I, I do sort of take offense with the Cowboys saying there was no wrongdoing. He... They, they say he entered the, the cheerleader's room. He used his key card. That much we know. That's proof. The video, we don't know if he took it or didn't take it, so I'm not even going to talk about that. But he absolutely, we know, entered the cheerleader's locker room. That is a given. I was at that luncheon. I was at all those luncheons. I've been in the bowels of AT&T Stadium probably close to 100 times. I know how the stadium is laid out. There was wrongdoing by him entering the cheerleader's locker room. There was no reason. Said he was going to the bathroom. There are bathrooms everywhere. There's a bathroom in the Cowboys' locker room before you even get to the cheerleader's locker room. There's bathrooms all in the hallways. I've used the bathrooms there. There's no reason to go into the cheerleaders room, especially when you know they're there and they're probably dressing. 
So to me, there was wrongdoing there by Rich to enter the cheerleaders room. There was no reason to be in there. And the second point I had, Mike, that some executive, this came from, I heard you guys talk about the NDAs, but we don't know if, according to the story, if the cheerleaders violated their NDAs because it says in the story that five months ago they got a tip from a former Cowboys executive. And so I've been racking my mind about who this former Cowboys executive is who who for some reason decided to tell the story. Is it somebody who hated Rich? Or was it somebody that wanted to get back at the Cowboys? Like, who is this executive who left the Cowboys who now is talking? And what else does this executive know? And is this executive going to tell? Because I'm sure the Cowboys know who this executive is by this point, I would think. Because there can't be that many people who are privy to this. Well, and, and the executive would have to have access to the paperwork. The tip may have started with the executive, but I still believe that somebody who had signed on that dotted line as yeah. a party to the agreement had to have given paperwork. How does the exec and, and shame on the Cowboys if they let this executive leave the building with NDAs, yeah. with confidential settlement agreements where two point four million were paid out to the cheerleaders whose rights were violated by the actions of Rich Dalrymple. I just feel like there's more to this story, and one of the reasons they paid the money is, and one of the reasons that, that they found there was no wrongdoing, they don't want anyone to start asking questions, again, about whether or not Rich Dalrymple was acting alone when he went into that place where he shouldn't have been. And there's two explanations. It's very simple. He either did it on his own or... He did it with others knowing slash at the behest of others. And we don't know that. And we'll never know that if there isn't a full investigation. And just because time has passed, because that's, that's what you're here to. Well, well come, on, come on. It was seven years ago. Well, right. But it wasn't properly investigated at the time. The passage of time does not make the wrong right. Just like with the stuff on Deflategate that we reported a couple of weeks ago. Uh, oh, it's been seven years. Right. But this has never come out before. Now it's out there. Let's deal with it. And I think the NFL doesn't want to deal with it. The NFL saw what happened with the Washington Commanders. And uh, I think right now the league's appetite is let's not go stirring up a pot that may eventually explode in our faces like the Washington Commanders situation has done. And what I hope happens is that the U.S. House Committee on Oversight and Reform is paying attention to all of this and decides to add it to the investigation I mean, it's the same issues. It's the same concerns. Workplace misconduct, how people are treated in the workplace, right? It, it's it's just a, a very discreet and specific example, but it's no different than the things that, that we've heard about with the Washington Commanders, right? One of the big scandals that caused this all to blow up and result in the NFL taking over the investigation of the Washington Commanders was the report from the Washington Post about the the clips from the cheerleader videos that were harvested allegedly reportedly for Daniel Snyder and other high-level executives to watch. So uh, there's already overlap. So if the league's not going to do it, somebody else needs to. And I assume that there are plenty of reporters out there trying to get more on this. Congress, do your thing. You're already in the neighborhood. You're already on the front porch of Daniel Snyder. Just, just, just walk next door and just gently rap on Jerry Jones' door. I know he's not going to like it. I, 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 I know he's not. And I'm not saying that he's involved. But he's responsible for everything that happens in his house. And this happened in his house, Shireen. Yeah. And an independent investigation, as the league has told Washington, cannot be independent if it's conducted by the team or somebody the team hires. So there does need to be an independent investigation. And that comes in the purview of the NFL. They're the ones who need to in instigate this and investigate this and see what else is out there. And there may be more that who knows again, what this executive knows or is going to say in the future. And I'm sure the Cowboys are trying to put a stop to that. I mean, let's take a step back and think about this. We kind of get desensitized to these scandals because it's like each yeah. new one is, you know, oh, okay. You know, we heard that, but yeah, 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 you know, uh, uh, what do you expect? What do you expect from this cesspool? That, that pops up from time to time. And, you know, but, but this is stuff people go to jail for. This is heinous activity. Yeah. This is not something you just turn a blind eye to and walk away. 
You're filming people secretly while they're changing their clothes? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, it's the club matter. Get out of here with that. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And I, I, I don't watch any other shows, number one, because it's all I can do to do our own twice a day. And I never want to be accused of stealing other people's bits or lines or jokes. I, I'm, don't, you don't have to worry about me stealing your joke, Kevin O'Connell. But, you know, I, I mean, don't say yeah, right, Here's a joke for you. No, no, I don't want it. Thank you. But I, I is anybody else talking about this? Is this a big deal? Have there been articles in the Dallas newspapers demanding for answers yeah. here? I don't know. I really don't know. Yes. But there should be. Yes. There's a lot of talk here, Mike, and it's the news on the headline. Uh, headline <laughs> news on the headlines. Sound like Sims now, right? It's headlines in the news here <laughs> everywhere <laughs> on TV, in the newspapers. Uh, yes. And the Dallas Morning News did a story after you did about the NFL not investigating this and calling for the NFL to investigate. So, yes. There Good. are. It, it is Good. a hot topic here. Everywhere I go, people are talking about it. They want to know how this happened and, and it, what's going to happen next. And, and there may be nothing to happen next, which is what the Cowboys and NFL obviously want is for That's this thing they want. just to go away. Yeah. So we can't let it happen. We can't let it happen. Fans, media, you can't let it happen. You got to keep agitating. Who's the guy that used to do the commentaries on the local TV station with the white hair? And it would be these awesome, biting commentaries that just got right to the heart Dale of the Hansen. issue. In a, Dale Hansen. Yeah. We need. Is he still around? Yeah. No, he retired recently. Yeah, we need oh, Dale crap. Hansen back, well. right? But they need to bring Dale Hansen back for a commentary on this one because maybe it would do the trick. But good. I'm, I'm encouraged to hear that there's intense local coverage. I don't know what's going on nationally, but we all need to be standing up and saying this demands an investigation. This demands answers. And ultimately, and I'm not trying to exonerate Rich Dalrymple here. He's at fault if he did what he did. But I am very curious as to whether he acted alone or whether there are others who – thought it would be funny if he did it again I don't know where the joke is or wanted him to do it for whatever reason I, I think there may be more to the story and that may be why it got buried seven years ago and 2.4 million dollars was paid out to ensure that it never ever 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 came to light hi I'm Mike Tirico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports